Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.T.E.C. from NIT Raudukela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, we need to solve by using matrix inversion method, the given system of equations. Fine, as the name implies, <coughs> sorry for that, as the name implies, we need to find out the uh, inverse of some matrix. Okay, now, how is that? What is that? Let's get into it. Fine. So my given equations are these three. Fine. I'm just writing them again. I kept them at the top also so that you can refer. Fine. Now, now these are the given equations. 2x minus y plus 3 is equal to 8 minus x plus 2y plus z equal to 4. Fine. Now, I want to write them in matrix form. Okay. I want to write them in matrix form. Now, how to do that? I can write them like this. Now, how? You might ask me how. See. Pretty simple, guys. The coefficient, just write the coefficient of coefficients of x, y, z. Beside x, there is 2. So, 2. Beside y, there is minus 1. This is basically minus 1 into y, right? So, minus 1 and 3. And RHS, there is 8. So, here also there is 8. Fine. In between, just put x, y, z. Here also, likewise, minus 1, 2, 1. And uh, 3, 1, minus 4. And 0, 8, 4, 0. Now, how it works, you see, in case you have a doubt, like, how it works, see. The, you can just multiply the first row with this. If you will multiply, 2 into x plus minus 1 into y plus 3z equal to 8. So, that's how you get the first equation. Likewise, if you multiply the second row, you will get the second equation. And the... Uh, third row you are going to get the third equation fine so that's how this is fine so this properly you know gives these three equations fine now see the first matrix i'm going to take it as uh, capital e and the second matrix as capital x and the third matrix is going to be capital d let a is equal to this x is equal to this and d is equal to this fine so a into x equal to d this is my matrix equation okay now we are done Okay, see guys, before we apply matrix inversion method, we have to first uh, find out uh, whether the debt of matrix A, debt of this one is equal to 0 or not. If the debt of A is equal to 0, then we cannot use matrix inversion method. I repeat, if debt A is equal to 0, then we cannot solve the given system of equations by matrix inversion method. Fine. Okay. <sighs> That's a complicated case a little. I mean, uh, I guess one time it came like somewhat like, uh, I don't know when, I think when I wrote exam only, I think yeah, it came like, what they asked to solve a matrix inversion or Kramer's and uh, debt, uh, debt was coming zero. So you all you had to write was uh, since delta is equal to zero, debt A is equal to zero, we cannot solve the given system of equations by Kramer's rule or something like that. In case if you get such a question, it's lucky guys. Just you find out debt A and show that it's 0. Now let's come back. Chalo. Now debt A is nothing but this. But guys, I hope you understand it. These are square brackets. You see there is a square. These are square brackets. These are not straight ones. Okay. Straight ones represents a determinant. Fine. Now how to find out the determinant? I hope you already know, but still I'll explain in short. See, basically what I did it is. I'm going to find out determinant along first row. So, 2 into debt of, this is what I have read, 2 into debt of, just cut off the row and column, just cut off the row and column in which 2 is there. So, what I am left of, debt of 2, 1, 1, minus 4, fine. This minus is fixed, it is a part, minus, what is the second element, what is the second element, minus 1. So, minus, cut off the, minus 1 into cut off the row and column in which minus 1 is there. So, what I get is, debt of minus 1, 1, 3, minus 4. Fine. And uh, plus 3 into, again, the same story. Same story. Fine. Uh, 3 into, just strike off the row and column in which this is there. Fine. So, minor debt of minus 1, 2, 3, 1. Okay. Debt of a 2 by 2 is kind of easier. 2 cross 2 determinant is kind of easy. So, 2 into minus 4, minus 1 into 1. So, minus 8, minus 1. Minus of minus 1 is plus 1. 
and minus 1 into minus 4 is plus 4 minus 3 ones are 3 so 4 minus 3 and likewise here minus 1 into 1 is 1 minus 3 into 2 it is 6 so minus 1 minus 6 you know the basically the process is this element into this element minus this into this fine now what is minus 8 minus 1 some of you may uh, you know could make a mistake here like what is this minus 8 minus 1 minus 8 minus 1 okay whenever two negative numbers are like this you just have to add i mean the final answer is going to be negative and the final answer is going to be minus 9 okay minus 8 plus minus 1 is minus 9 so 2 into minus 9 4 4 minus 3 is 1 so 1 into 1 plus 3 into minus minus 1 minus 6 is minus 7 okay minus 1 minus 6 is minus 7 i hope you guys get it 2 into minus 9 is minus 18 plus 1 3 into minus 7 is minus 21 okay now how to solve this see guys listen carefully minus 18 plus 1 minus 18 plus 1 is minus 17 okay because a minus and a plus out of these two which is bigger 18 is bigger and it has minus sign so the final answer is going to be negative that is fixed now minus 18 plus 1 means just you can take you can just do 18 minus 1 and just put the minus sign because i told you right final answer is going to be negative so 18 minus 1 is 17 so minus 17 minus 17 minus 21 minus 17 minus 21 is minus 38 fine so and it's not equal to 0 hooray so we can solve this uh, given system of equations by matrix inversion method fine okay now a little tedious process i hope you guys won't get bored okay i hope whatever i am teaching is going into the head and i hope you are listening through your ears and i know some of you might be you know listening to my video right now in kind of weird poses now what do i mean by weird poses some of you are like lying down in a bed and like just listening like this watching okay this is how it's going on with the headset and in case if you feel bored immediately <laughs> you'll just sleep off some of you will be like that some of you would be like ah so okay i have to study but i'm not interested okay let me just play a video okay, yeah it's going on i'm understanding i'm understanding fine mm, okay okay done but <laughs> the fact is they may not understand that well so you need uh, focus and dedication guys to accomplish things so please stay patient so now let's go now we have to find out something known as cofactor matrix for this given matrix okay our a now fine how to find out this cofactor matrix we are going to find out cofactor for each element in a basically there are nine elements one two three four five six seven eight nine so first let's find out cofactor of two cofactor of two see guys listen carefully this is my row one this is my row two this is my row three horizontals are rows and vertical are columns column 1, column 2 and column 3, fine. Now, 2's position is what? First row, first column. So, 1, 1. That's why minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1. This one is based on the position of uh, 2, okay. Fine. Now, into same thing, same process, strike off the row and column in which 2 is there, okay. Strike it off. So, 2, 1, debt of 2, 1, 1 minus 4, fine. Minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 is minus 1 to the power 2. So, into same 2 into minus 4 is minus 8 minus 1 1 are 1 so minus 8 minus 1 minus 1 to the power an even number you can ignore it because minus 1 to the power 2 is nothing but plus 1 so it is fine right 1 into anything gives the same number so minus 8 minus 1 is minus 9 okay next cofactor of minus 1 minus 1's position is first row second column so 1 2 so minus 1 uh, minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 into that of strike off the row and column in which uh, minus 1 is there. I mean close the row and strike off doesn't mean just strike it off <laughs> I hope you won't just strike it off <laughs> don't do that guys come on if you'll close it you'll get okay I'll just show it to you let's say I'll, uh, for the center element I think I already did it for the previous one yeah so my debt of minus 1 1 3 minus 4 okay basic guys minus 1 into minus 4 is plus 4 
minus 3 ones are 3 and minus 1 to the power 3 I have. See, minus 1 to the power an odd number, minus 1 to the power an odd number is going to be minus 1. So, minus 1 to the power 3 is minus 1 and 4 minus 3 is 1, minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. Okay, now next, let's do the same process for the element this 3 okay now cofactor of 3 uh, 3 is in first row third column so 1 3 position is 1 3 so 1 plus 3 minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 stack of the row and column in which 3 is there so i'd get minus debt of minus 1 2 3 1 that's what i have okay and this one is minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 minus 3 2 is r 6 minus 1 minus 6 so minus 1 to the power even number you can ignore it so fine so that's why I have minus 1 minus 6 is minus 1. Now, next we have to find out cofactor of minus 1. Cofactor of minus 1 is, now see guys, listen carefully, pay attention here. Minus 1 is in second row first column, okay. So, 2, 1. So, minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 into debt of, into debt of. Now, strike off the row and column in which this is there. Row. Now, what are you left out? Minus 1, 3, 1, minus 4. So, debt of one, minus 1, 3, 1, minus 4. So, minus 1 into minus 4 is plus 4, minus 1, 3 is 3. And minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 is minus 1 to the power 3. Minus 1 to the power 3, minus 1 to the power odd number is going to be minus 1. So, I'd get this one as minus 1 into 4 minus 3 is again 1. Anyways, 1 so. So, minus 1 I'll get. Fine. Okay, guys. Shallow. Now, next I need to find out the cofactor of 2. One guys, pay attention. Come on. Oh, if you are already paying attention, then it's a good thing. Chalo. Now, cofactor of 2. 2's position is row number 2, column number 2. So, 2, 2. So, minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2 into. Strike off the row and column in which 2 is there. So, debt of 2, 3, 3, minus 4. Same guys, minus 4, minus 8, minus 9. And minus 1 to the power 4, you can ignore it. Minus 8, minus 9 is minus 17. Okay. Now, next. Fine. Oh, I guess I forgot to put animation for this slide. Yeah, I forgot to put animation for this slide. Sorry, guys. So, we were done till this element 2. Okay. And we need to uh, find out the cofactor of 1. 1's position is second row, third column. So, minus 1 to the power 2 plus 3 into debt of strike off the row and column in which 1 is there. I am left out with 2 minus 1, 3, 1. 2 minus 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. So, 2 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 to the power 5. And minus 1 to the power 5 is minus 1 into that 2 plus 3, which is nothing but minus 1 into 5, which is nothing but minus 5. Fine. Now, next cofactor of 3. Cofactor of 3. Okay. So, 3's position is third row, first column. Okay. Third row, first column. Now, so, 3, 1. So, mm -hmm. minus 1 to the power 3 plus 1 into debt of minus 1, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Fine. If you will just strike off the row and column in which it is there, you will get this. Fine. So, minus 1 into 1 is minus 1, minus 2, 3 are 6. So, minus 1 to the power 4 into minus 1 to the power 4, you can ignore it because it is plus 1. Minus 1, minus 6 is minus 1. Now, next cofactor of 1. Cofactor of 1 is nothing but minus 1 to the power 1 this one position is 3 2 row 3 column 2 so minus 1 to the power 3 plus 2 into that of just strike off the row and column and, and strike off in the sense just close it so 2 3 minus 1 1 2 minus minus 3 so this is what you have now cofactor co of minus 4 uh, minus 1 to the power third row third column so okay, let me just erase this Fine into debt of close of this 2 minus 1 minus 1 2 4 minus 1 so 3. Now my cofactor matrix if you guys see see these are all my cofactors minus 9 minus 1 minus 7 first row minus 1 minus 17 minus 5 second row minus 7 minus 5 3 third row. So this is my cofactor matrix okay. Now next I need to find out something known as adjoint A. What is this adjoint A is nothing but adjoint A is nothing but uh, transpose of this cofactor matrix. If you see guys, luckily these two are same. Like this one's transpose is transpose means sim simple guys. This first column will become first row. So minus 9, minus 1, minus 1. Same. Now next. 
second column will become second row minus 1 minus 17 minus 5 and next uh, minus 7 minus 5 3 okay fine sure that's a good thing that you have here luckily these two are same but this will not be the case most of the times now adjoint a got now i need to find out a inverse as the name suggests matrix inversion method so there will be inverse right that's why we have an inverse a inverse is adjoint a by delta it means 1 by delta into adjoint a delta we got right in the beginning so it is 1 by minus 38 into this fine since ax will be dx will be a inverse into d you can just remember this y and all i don't want to cover it here so a inverse into d a inverse is this and d is 840 if you remember in the first slide i show, showed it now basic multiplication guys okay so uh fine first row with this minus 9 into 8 plus minus 1 into 4 plus minus 7 into 0 fine 1 by minus 38 keep it outside likewise minus 1 into 8 plus minus 17 into 4 plus minus 5 into 0 fine now next likewise minus 7 into 8 plus minus 5 into 4 plus 3 into 0 fine. if you'll simplify what i'd get is minus 72 minus 4 plus 0 minus 8 minus 68 plus 0 and minus 56 minus 20 plus 0 Minus 72 minus 4 is minus 76 minus 8 minus 68 is also minus 76 minus 56 minus 20 is also minus 76. So fine. Now take the 1 by minus 38. It will get multiplied to each of these uh, elements. So minus 76 by minus 38 and minus 76 by minus 38 minus 76 by minus 38. Minus minus cancel. 38 ones are 38 twos are same. So I will get 2, 2, 2. Therefore x equal to 2, y equal to 2 equal to 2 is a solution of the given system of equations that's it guys i hope i did not bore you too much let's talk about something different now hmm. okay some of you might feel some of you might be working just too hard just too hard i mean every day you might be studying like 14 hours or 15 hours it's good to study guys but don't push yourself too much have some time for having meals have taking you know relaxing and uh, some time for exercise some time for sports a little and some time for relaxing okay because sometimes we push ourselves too much see guys i'll, I'll ask you one thing student is someone from the job or exam on the road mother of the gunta panna gunta java and expectation love it go well to me you're getting me right by on thought alana at lana author honey but that is not that good and to me a jordan mika chadu anta unpinched exam rasi ranga ne much potar motam is it useful is such an education useful my sincere question to you is such an education useful see guys nowadays it is an it is an age of information okay you have information everywhere meku knowledge ketu vanti karu ledu kani gyanan ketu vanti karu ledu kani dan ela vaadali deeniki karu ledu there is a lot of lot of uh, scarcity for how to apply it i mean that's why people who can apply the knowledge are growing and people who cannot do it are not are not able to go that well knowledge helps you i'm not saying knowledge is wrong but those who can apply that knowledge they'll be able to do much better guys nowadays so fine that's why it's okay to relax a little don't push yourselves too hard don't go like studying 16 hours 14 hours it's fine i understand je stuff if you are preparing for je or mz whatever I know it's a little tough, but still, relax a little, take a deep breath, have a small smile, and study while you're enjoying. I mean, study. See, you could you can study by saying, uh, "I need to study. I need to study." Instead, you could also study. Yeah, uh, I need to study. I need to study with a smile, like enjoying. So, which do you think is better? Anyways, you have to struggle. Elago kasta bada jin na, wo to kasta bada. Oka chiru na, wo to kasta bada. Okay, fine guys. Thank you. Okay, uh, in case you like this video, please hit the like button. It will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Once again, thank you.